Hello traders, this is Orlando for Tradimo and welcome to this week's uh, market weekly market breakdown. Uh, this uh, Sunday, we're going to go through what happened on Friday with the non-farm payrolls. We're going to see the reaction and the possible opportunities to the upside and to the downside that this uh, release gave us. And we're going to go through the opportunities for next week too, so stay tuned. And uh, remember that if, you know, if you're not part of our premium community, I'm leaving you a link below this video so you can join us with a 20, uh, for only $25, all right? So uh, let's go and uh, let's have a look at the actual employment uh, release uh, or the, um, from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Okay, so the unemployment rate uh, went down to 3.5%, uh, the lowest since 1950. Uh, the U.S. added 136,000 jobs, um, non-farm, of course, and uh, the um, actual. Uh, let me uh, let me look at this. Uh, I haven't read the actual report, but the average hourly earnings didn't went up, uh, and the reason that I'm 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 I'm, I'm uh, saying this is because of these guys. All right. So uh, last Friday. Uh, I was um, I was I sent this to our premium community and I told them that for me the important thing about the non-farm payroll Friday is the gap between the unemployment rate and the average average hourly earnings and as you can see here the average hourly earnings are in red and the unemployment rate is in blue so the uh, if you can see here the gap between the unemployment rate and the average or hourly earnings is widening this means that uh the us is creating more jobs the unemployment rate is going down whilst the hourly hour the hourly average earning is going up this means that people uh, or workers have more cash in hand which means that it's going to turn into expenditure, which in these terms is going to turn into, into demand, which is going to turn into an increase in supply, an, in, an expansion of uh, the uh, industries, and of course, creation of jobs. So this is a snowball effect that is good for the, for the US economy. So my, in my watch on Long Farm Payrolls Friday is always this the average hourly earnings versus the unemployment rate that's what's important to me okay so let's go and uh, let's have a look at what happened uh with the us dollar uh during fps all right so very low reaction to a uh, non-farm i mean uh, during non-farm payrolls um the uh, the number was 136,000 jobs created uh just shy from uh, the expectations uh or, or the analyst expectations, but what, what matters here, what matters here is what I'm going to show you guys, okay? So we have the 9880. Uh, if you follow my show, my daily ed show, uh, I uh, go live every single day, and I'm leaving you a link below so you can join my newsletter so I can send you an email when I go live. All right, so look at this pic right here. Now, let me change the color of my brush to a more, um, uh, let's say to a, a magenta or something like this. No, uh, something brighter. Um, yellow should be fine. No, orange. I like orange. So look at this. Uh, look at this right here, guys. This peak. Uh, I'm sorry. This peak at uh, the 98.80 right here. Okay. This peak at the 98.80. This is a very important level to me. This is a historic level on the US dollar currency index, okay? And as you can see, we, uh, we rejected this level right here and we faked out of it once and we had a huge, huge rejection of that level right here. Now, what has happened is that we broke with this level. Uh, actually, I'm going to uh, change the color of my brush once again. Uh, too white because uh, or magenta is fine uh, because uh, well what, what happened here is that we broke to the upside we tested it and we continue to rally all right now um, if you notice this uh, portion of, of price action in my chart you can see that we did had a, a fake out but now 
it seems like we are going to go up in the sense that this level is truly holding all right this level is truly holding at the moment so uh, with this in mind with what I've just told you about the gap between the interest rate and the uh, average hourly earnings and the snowball effect that causes the creation of more jobs when this gap widens we are very bullish on the US dollar and right here at this exact uh, time in price action is where we are going to look for opportunities to buy the US dollar and the reason is this because uh, this is where buyers are going to be jumping in because this is where sellers jumped in in the past protecting this level afterwards buyers uh, broke with this level and now buyers are protecting this level for a rally so this is what I'm looking at on the um, US dollar uh, through the US dollar currency index guys and as you can see we are in a very 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 strong uptrend making higher highs making higher highs and higher lows all right so uh, this bullish structure has been trading I mean we are trading inside this this uh, bullish structure since early in June um, uh, this year I think yeah early in June this year uh, 2019 and uh, uh, we have hit some key levels like the 98 uh, flat level, the 9880. Uh, and uh, now the, the, the next key level in uh, my uh, eyes is that 98, uh, 9980. And, uh, and if you follow my shows, you already know that my red dotted lines are important historic levels. So these levels, the, these big levels like the 9880, or the 9980 are levels that date from uh, maybe two years ago but the pr that but the price in the US dollar, dollar currency index hadn't reached just yet but in the past they there were very very strong levels in fact I can show you let's go to the daily chart uh, and uh, let's have a look um, just let me get rid of my brush and let's have a look all right so here we go this is why the 9880 and the 9980 are so important levels to me because here is where uh, buyers were protecting uh, well buyers were protecting this level and uh, here is well where, where sellers jumped in to uh, break with the 9880 so that range that's uh, quite a well, if you're looking at, at a global or a big picture, it's a, it's a short, it's a close range, but uh, it is not. But that range is where we found buyers and sellers and sellers. Well, in this case, sellers uh, uh, took control of the market and brought price down to these lows. But um, right now that we are in a bullish market for the US dollar, the 9880 is where I expect uh, sellers to jump in and of course buyers to or short term buyers to give up and take profits, which will create somewhat of a bearish, um, well, of a bearish um, uh, push. But in, in any case, th those are the levels that I am looking at and uh, we are going to move forward. We, and so uh, having said that, we are going to be looking for buy opportunities in the US dollar of course that we are not going to be buying the US dollar currency index but we are going to maybe look for opportunities to sell gold sell the euro versus the USD etc so having said that why don't we go through uh, some sell opportunities that we might have on the US dollar for next week all right I'm not going to go through a lot of uh, setups uh, or I'm sorry a lot of charts I'm going to focus on the best opportunities that I could find for you to be able to uh, maybe uh, well profit from some of them so we're going to start by looking at gold uh, gold gold is uh, gold is one of my favorite assets to trade if you're part of my of uh, our premium community you already know that we trade gold a lot we are not scared of gold because we know how to manage uh, how to manage risk and uh, we know what we are doing for for example a couple of weeks ago we shorted this move on gold 
that was crazy move and right now what we are going to be doing is we are going to be looking for a another short opportunity in gold now let me go to the hourly chart because um well just because uh, what is this this has nothing to do here uh because uh, i want to show you what happened on non-farm payroll friday uh and of course um where we are right now all right so uh if you look at this closely we had this spike up and then a big move down all right on non-farm payrolls okay so mixed uh, numbers out of uh, non-farm with uh, well uh, good numbers of, jo of new jobs created in september but uh, uh, but uh, uh, shy from the, the analyst expectations and of course the average hourly earning not uh, jumping but the unemployment uh, rate decreasing to 3.5 percent uh, so very mixed numbers uh, overall uh, and uh, you can see the reaction in the in, in gold that was uh, overall very mixed from this high to this low closing here at the middle if you ask me uh, yes there there were opportunities to trade gold uh, during non MVPs but uh, we stayed away from it because uh, I personally disclaimer have a short position in uh, silver and uh, silver reacted the same way as gold of course i didn't get stopped out because i mean I, I i swing trade and my stops are way 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 above all right but but that uh, i mean that's not what we're going to be talking about what we're going to be talking about is the opportunities that uh, we can have here or or maybe uh um or maybe just uh, uh looking for some uh uh well, for some short opportunities and uh, maybe uh, jumping in on the long term, uh, very strain in gold. Now, let's start by looking at where we are right now. Very important level right here. Uh, let me grab my brush again. Very, very important level right here, guys, right here. Because after this crash, this is where sellers jumped in again to bring price to the lows so this level was a level that was going to be protected by sellers and you can see here that after this spike this spike was during i don't remember what uh, actual data was that created uh this uh, uh i mean this sell-off on on the us dollar and of course this uh rally in gold but uh it was uh, i mean it was a uh, us data driven move all right and then when and and during non farm payrolls you can see that big rejection to that level and of course it was obvious that this is uh, this is some momo trading going on during economic data uh dump all right and of course that 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 momo, momo traders were going to be taking profit at the previous lows or at the previous base that created an opportunity for short-term bulls to jump in on the market with a good risk to reward ratio all right so yeah i mean the moves in during non-farm payroll friday or after non-farm payroll friday friday i'm sorry were extremely uh basic we stayed out of it because right now what we are looking is the opportunity to sell gold all right and uh, let's thicken out this chart just look at it this level has been protected by sellers over and over okay and uh, we have a very important historic level the 1485 before we go any further i'm going to show you why the 1485 level is so important to me all right now the 1485 level is not only a historic level guys but it's also the level that buyers that buyers were protecting just look at this rejection after rejection of that level and then we had a fake out of that 40 um, that 1485 level now going back to the hourly chart um, well going back to the hourly chart uh, you can see it's, it's kind of hot in here I mean I live in the tropics and yeah it's kind of hot uh, we can um, uh, well going back to the hourly chart guys you can see that uh, well this level is um, uh, level where, where we have some some rejections before big big moves. Okay, so uh, let's move forward and let's see what 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 uh, can we expect. In my eyes, if we break with that with the 1501 level or these lows, um, 
we are going to be uh, well dipping at least to the 1485 level and if not we might get some kind of a flag here for a continuation lower so uh, in my eyes or this is in my eyes or at the, and, uh, as I told you before I am uh, well bearish gold and the reason that I'm bearish gold is because I am bullish the US dollar and not only that is because I see this market or gold as have topped okay uh, let's go back to a four-hour chart uh, and as you can see I mean uh, we are in a very extreme uh, uptrend and uh, we are in a very very strong uptrend in gold but if you look closely at this I mean it looks very toppy and it looks even even like a uh, head and shoulders pattern if you guys and this looks like a re uh, um, um, well look la like a retest of that broken level but it looks very toppy and because I am very bullish in the US dollar I am a short uh, well bearish gold so uh, to say that not to say that this if we break if we if we do break with the 1495 level which is this uh, lows right here all right which is this lows right here uh, I expect a retest of at least uh, these lows at around the uh, 1461 level and of course uh, a, re a test of this very very strong level and key level so because this is a key level I have to change it to yellow all right uh, because I mean visually I it's important for me to uh, to know uh, when I analyze I analyze the markets it's important for me to know which ones are key levels which ones are not all right so this is my view in gold uh, let's have a look at um, the uh, uh, I don't know um, the US dollar Swiss franc uh, yeah the US dollar Swiss franc is at a very important uh, or oh, it's uh, very funny um, how it works uh, for me and let me ex let me explain to you why as you can see very very uh, very simple chart there's no need to overcomplicate your chart and your analysis with uh, you know in lots of indicators uh, moving average moving average doesn't I mean no, I, I, moving, moving average don't work because they lack because uh, uh, they I mean the only thing that doesn't lack is price itself so yeah I mean I don't use anything of that so right here you can see that we've had another rejection at parity okay and because I am uh, and uh, well you, you you might say you are bullish the US dollar well how come you are going to be telling us that you are short, that, that you're looking for shorts or that you are already short the US dollar Swiss franc and uh, disclaimer I am short the US dollar Swiss franc from parity so I'm short from around here uh, and I am expecting a retest at least of this uh, of this uh, very 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 key level which I am going to be changing right now again to my key level um, uh, well color I'm sorry so yes I am expecting a break of this uh, what seems to be a flag that we are trading inside of big rejection of parity at this key level so I'm expecting a dip in the US dollar versus the Swiss franc uh, next week all right I am a disclaimer I am already short from parity on an excellent risk to reward to my first targets um, this is not a signal this is all only for educational purposes again if you want my exact trade levels I am leaving you a link below this video so you can uh get in on my premium services for only 25 dollars for an entire month that's nothing i mean it's up to you i can make you uh pay the 25 dollars but really i mean it's great value for only uh 25 bucks or five fibers <laughs> so yeah this is my view on the us dollar versus the swiss franc uh let's have a look at uh at another market uh the us dollar canadian dollar again uh, uh, uh if you are i mean if you follow my uh my daily um, uh, shows of if you are uh, a member of the premium community you know that uh, i uh i mean all over last week i was telling you that this was way too short 
to short the, I mean, this was way too early to short the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. And I was right. I mean, just look at this rally to my key level. All right. So basically, now that we have hit my key level and I see some rejection, I am going to be looking for short opportunities on an awesome risk to reward ratio. Um, so uh, let me just uh, uh, redraw the risk versus the reward for you guys, because I think that my mouse says batteries are running low. Uh, so this would be a, apparently the risk and the expected reward of that short opportunity that I'm going to be looking on the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. And if I look at the entire, I mean, at, at the big picture on this market, um, what I'm, what I will be looking uh, is a, uh, maybe a break of this uh, bear, uh, bullish structure, short term, well, not, not so much short term uh, bullish uh, structure, but, uh, uh, but I, I mean, if we we uh, if we retest the 131.38 uh, level, which is a key level for me, uh, we will be breaking with this uh, short term uh, bullish structure. And I will be looking for something like this to add to my short position. OK, some kind of a flag and retest of this key level, something like this to uh, really uh, get in short the US dollar versus the Swiss franc, uh, the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. Remember that trading, guys. Is, is, I mean, uh, uh, it's if it's okay if you if you're aiming to make five pips, ten pips, or or small pips on a trade. I mean, I mean, if that's the way you trade, that's the way you trade. That's not the way I trade. I don't trade every day, but I do manage my positions every day, and I, I aim for the big scores. Uh, that's where you make money, actually. I mean, because it's so hard uh, to get in on a good risk to reward scenario with the high probability to go in your way that in my eyes, just a waste to cut it early. All right. Uh, so let's move on and uh, let's uh, finish up. Uh, yeah, by looking at the euro versus the US dollar. I mean, uh, the most liquid market of all. I have to rework my chart, guys, but uh, uh, I'm not going to be looking at the euro versus the US dollar for you today. Uh, tomorrow on the Daily Edge, I will be looking at the euro versus the USD. I will be looking at the US dollar versus the Japanese yen, the pound versus the US dollar, uh, and the other pound um, uh, uh, currency pairs. Uh, but for the time being, I think that we have gone through a lot on this weekly market breakdown. Uh, if you want to join premium again, there's a link below this video for you to jump in for only 25 bucks the first month. And if you want to get notified every time I go live, just subscribe to my newsletter. The link is below. It's called the Daily Edge. Uh, in any case, guys, um, if you want uh, this, I mean, uh, all of this uh, on a daily basis and uh, to the second news, uh, jump in on my ship. Until the next time, I'm Orlando for Trading More. Goodbye.